Hey lovelies, how are we? So today I thought I'm gonna go out for a bit and I was like, I wanna do something, just simple matte, nude, whatever. And I'm like, I did recently a poll on my Instagram where I asked you guys what you wanna see and what you picked my makeup pretty much. <laughs> I gave you the options, but you picked. It's all about you today. So um, this video is pretty much for you guys out there watching. So thank you so much for, you know, even taking the poll and telling me what you guys want to see. I love when you all message me or tell me what you want or anything like that. It's like literally the best. So um, I'm also going to be shouting out people that give me recommendations. I just want you guys to feel like I really am paying attention to your thoughts and what you want. So if you share my um, video down below or leave a comment of what you want. I will be putting your Instagram in the link down below and on my Instagram. So let's do that so we can help each other out and share the love. So let's just jump into the video so we can do my face and then I can get ready because I want to change. I don't like this top anymore. <laughs> it's really cold in Sydney, so we don't need Okay, so I asked, do you guys want me to put the benefit or the touch up? So 50% voted, can you take a guess before I say it? Okay. So now that you think you know what the answer is, the winner is dun, 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 my poor professional. And I will say out of these two, I can't even pick which one I love most. I will say maybe this one only because um, only because I can put this all over my face. But then again, I do only put this on my nose and, and my chin and this is incredible. So I'm not even really mad about this one because I used to do these all the time. I'm just going to take a little bit more on the back of my hand and we're just going to be Popping her there. And then what I like to do, because I want like to make sure that nothing is seen through my face. If that makes any sense. So I'm really sad because the other day I dropped my camera that I absolutely love and I use the Lumix GH8 or something. No, GF8K. I use the GF8K and it's literally been in my life for I don't even know how long now, but I dropped it on the side of my bed and now the zoom doesn't work. So I'm currently using something else temporarily and I really miss my other camera because it was so good. It was really good to me. I get really sad when this happens to me. Does anything like this happen to you? Like when everything's going smoothly and like you're good, you're in a good place. You're like, yes, this is my thing. You know, I'm killing it. Boom. But it's good. It's fine. I was due for an upgrade. So I can't wait. If you guys have any recommendations, leave me some comments below, but I think I know what I want to get, but I'm always open to suggestions, really. Did that because my letter was there but whatever so i did for contour i did either cream or powder so do you guys want to take a quick guess have you thought of that yet okay so there was 18 percent powder but no no not percent sorry i ended up doing i wanted to see how many numbers there were sorry so 18 people voted powder 48 voted cream. Cream it is. And I feel like I always use the Bobbi Brown. So I was thinking I'm going to use the LA Girl. And this is in Chestnut. I haven't used this in a while. So I like to just get some out first. Because sometimes it gets really watery. And I'm going to be applying this first. 
I'm actually gonna apply this here. Little baby hairs. So I know it looks like a lot, but and I want like the jaw to you know what I mean? So now that that's all on, we're just going to be blending. I'm actually going to use one of these brushes first and then I'll end up using another brush and a sponge. So let's go. <laughs> So now that that's all on and we look amazing, I didn't blend it probably because I want to go in my with my foundation first and I still did put it on there and I haven't blended it out yet. We will get on to that. So now for foundation, I did Giorgio Armani. I did a high-end one, my favorite, and I just did L'Oreal. Um, that isn't one of, oh no, that is, that is my favorite. Let me show you. Let me show you. Next we have foundation and I did the L'Oreal True Match and I did Giorgio Armani. Now these two are one of my favorites. This is my holy grail. I am out of this. I just bought it from Sephora so it's getting shipped to me and I got these from America and they still have lasted me which is fantastic. So we don't have them in Australia. I haven't ever found them. If you know where to get them please tell me. <laughs> Um, so now you guys voted for the Giorgio Armani or the L'Oreal and there was 80% of votes were for Giorgio Armani and then the rest was 20% for L'Oreal. So I was kind of happy with either or so. We're going to do this. I think next time I'm going to actually... Um, get you guys to pick what you want me to buy from Sephora and use or something because I'm so curious about your recommendations because this will be fun to see what you guys recommend and then if it works so I'm just gonna get as much as we can out so I'm going in with my elf E oh no this is just the elf brush oh, I thought it was the E something but no it's not and I like starting in the center of my face. This was just one stroke. I don't know if you can see. Do you see? Like, look how far that spreads. And I'm not gonna put any under my eyes because I wanna avoid it getting too cakey. Okay. So now I'm going in with the Nikia Joy sponge. This is a great sponge. And I'm just gonna be pressing everything and making sure everything's blended. Okay, so now I'm going in with this brush by Jessup and this is the 142 Concealer Buffer Brush. So I'm gonna actually use this for my eye base. Mm -hmm. 
So now we voted for concealer and I did the Tarte or the Maybelline Fit Me and there was 86 votes for the Tarte concealer and there was 17 votes for the other concealer, the Maybelline one. So this is a bit darker. This is super creamy. So I'm literally just gonna put that much, even that's a bit much. And funny enough, I've never used this concealer with Giorgio Armani foundation. So everywhere that I wanna lighten, I'm bringing forward. Just sad enough that this isn't a really light concealer for me. Cause I like that tan look. So pretty much, yeah, just those areas. From like the sides of my nose down. I feel like this is just really good for sculpting the nose and I haven't even gone back in really this is just one just little swab hmm. oh it already has stuff on it I'm gonna first go in with the real my real techniques deluxe crease brush and I like this because this like buffs everything together so I'm using stamping motions and flicking so I'm stamp and flick So now I'm going to go with my brush and my brush, my sponge and I'm going to make sure everything that I, that we just did and now I'm going to use my sponge, make sure everything we just did is set in place. So then I asked what powders you want me to put, either the Hourglass or the Nikia Joy. I love that powder so much, but that's okay. I love the Hourglass one too. So I'm gonna use this on a little brush. So I'm gonna use this on a little brush and I'm gonna be like moving it to make sure nothing's creasing. So still with the bronzer, because we did vote for both. <laughs> Thank God you guys know me. And like I said, I'm bringing it a bit lower than I usually do. Because we've already cream contoured, I'm literally just being a bit messy with the bronzer slash contour. And then I'm just taking a big foundation brush to blend everything. Okay, I'm gonna quickly now. So now we voted for blush. There was Morphe, which was 58, and then the MAC was 32. So I'm gonna put some Morphe blush on. This Morphe brush palette, I broke one. And I'm using the last one. All right, guys, we have a little guest. Scarly's here to play. That's all right. So we've done the eyeliner. Um, I'm gonna do my lashes in a second. 
um, four brows. So I did pomade or a pencil and 70 of you guys said pomade. So I'm using the Benefit one and this is, I'm gonna do this eye first so she can, you know, <laughs> not trip or anything. Oh Jesus, your claws. So we need to take her to a vet so she can they can trim her claws and stuff. Ask you guys if you want model rock lashes or jeweled beauty lashes. And 48 of you said model rock and the rest obviously said jeweled beauty. So I'm actually gonna be using the individual lashes. I honestly don't know where the hell she went. She wouldn't have gone far. I think she's scared of all the light. <laughs> all right, so I'm just gonna pop this on here. And I'm just gonna put like two or three, maybe just two, because what this does is it gives me like a really nice lift and like it looks super natural. trying to run away because what Scarlett you're stuck with me use some mascara I didn't even ask what mascara I should use sorry <laughs> I'm like making sure that she's not eating something she's not meant to be but I'm also gonna take the Huda Beauty 3d highlighter powder and I'm just gonna go in with Maldives Scarlett oh yeah you can do that I don't care <laughs> I don't care if she does that. She's not eating anything, she's just playing. I like to mainly put it on the bridge and then just in the middle like that. In with my sponge and we just wanna make sure that we're dewy. Cause you know, you didn't want me to put, um, you just wanted a cream. You guys just wanted cream. I mean, you just wanted no cream. <laughs> okay. So, for my inner lash line, I was thinking of putting this pencil. This is grey, and this is a Sephora pencil. Just put that in my inner lash line. Okay, so I'm going to line my lips with Spice. And I just like doing that first. So last but definitely not least, I asked I asked you guys if you want gloss or a matte lip. And 32 of you, 36 of you said matte. I guess what? Well, we're going to do it matte style. So I have two of the Huda Beauty lipsticks. I have Vixen and Spice Girl. I'm thinking I'm going to put Spice Girl on. It's really dark, but I like it. I'm gonna go in with Matte Honey Love by MAC. And I'm just gonna put that in the center. My finger. She was getting lonely. Weren't you Scarlet? Hmm? Hmm? Say Scarlet. All right, guys, this is the final result. Do you like it, Scarlett? I don't want lipstick on your little feet. <laughs> so this is, hold on. Oh, 
And I also didn't ask what um, spray you wanted, so I just put some of the Tatcha spray on because I wanted a dewy look. And I'm pretty happy with this look, honestly. Um, I feel like it is a really like nice look to go out in. Don't eat my hair scallop, please. And yeah, so this is the final result. No! She thinks my hair is like... You know, I've never seen her close her eyes in her life. And she just closed her eyes and it was like a blue, there's like a blue outline and then it's just white. Yeah, she's cranky. Gonna have to put her down, but I'm a bit scared. No, I'm joking, I'm not scared of her. <laughs> but yeah, so this is the final result. Thank you so much for watching. So make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell somewhere at the bottom to make sure you guys get notified when I upload a new video. And yeah, leave a comment below of what you thought of this look. And thank you guys so much for watching. Me and Scarlett say bye-bye. Say bye, Scarlett. No? Alright, bye guys.